done with the blanket, the lap blanket. This is how I did it. I got the ends a little bit of frail, fret, uh, a little bit of fringe at the end of it. And then you just put it on your lap. It's pretty big. It's a nice size. Um, stretchy. My mom will love it. So that's going to her. And it's all done. All sides are done. Got all the sides with the fringe. There you go. And this is, is this the right side? Yeah, this is the right side. Like I was showing in one of the other videos, you put um, this part, like the knot goes this way for every side that you're gonna have the right side. And the side that you're not is can be the knot can go like that or you can use either one but just make sure they're all the same like they're all on the same uh, knot is the same way okay I don't know if you understand what I'm saying if you look at the other video I showed how to put these on so if you want to know how to put them on this is a big stitch so if you see they look big you're like oh those look big yes they're big because um I use the gigantic needles. Okay, I use these needles so it made a bigger stitch and it's very stretchy. And I use some really thick thread, yarn rather. The yarn is big. See how big the yarn is? Opposed to a really thin yarn like this. See the difference in them? See that piece of yarn in that? And the needles, which I'm working on one of the teddy bears too, another one. Okay, see this? Now that is a small needle compared to this one. Look how big that needle is. So that's why this came out thick like this. And you see how small this this came out? Okay, you can make sweater or anything out of this thick material if you like. And I think next year I'm going to try it. It's still warm. It's still really warm. But it's made bigger. And, and it's really stretchy. And this one is a different yarn. And it's also a smaller uh, knitting needle. So you're going to come out with a different size and a different look. Okay, I'm going to have another teddy bear to show later. I'm almost done with it, actually. I whipped it up last night. I just need the body part. I just did the sides and, I mean, the head and the top of the head and the ears. I just need to do the other parts. And I'll be done with that one. And a little sweater for it. Okay, so that's it. We've got this one done. And... It's going to be really nice and she's going to enjoy it <laughs> on the cool days or um, winter time, you know, if it's too warm right now. But um, she says she still uses her other one all the time. I'm pretty sure she breaks it out in the winter time mostly. Well, she's in Arizona, so it's cool. It's pretty, it's pretty cold in the winter time. And if you have the air conditioner on in your house... And you're, you know, the house, you're trying to cool it down and you're a little bit cool. You can throw this thing on your lap at, in the evening when it gets a little cooler. So anyways, there you go. There you have it. All done. Enjoy. Like, subscribe. Um, any suggestions on other projects, let me know and I will whip one up for you. I'll try my best anyways. What I did was I intertwined, I put some with the color in it, some without, some with the color in it, some without, some with the color in it, some without. And I picked the deep color of this maroon. You could have picked anything. You pick the turquoise and put on the edges. You could pick the white and put on the edges. Like I did my other one was the peppermint and I put the white on the edges for the fringe. This one I wanted to pull out this burgundy. So I did that. Anyways, that's it. It's all done. Doesn't that look nice? 
Let me see if I can get up and do the whole thing. There, you can almost see the whole thing. There's the ends. Okay. There you have it. Folded and ready to go, and I'll just put it in a box, a little box or something, a pretty box. Send it to her. That's it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do the coffee cake tonight because my daughter asked me to do her hair and I, she wants it braided. So I might end up having to do that. So I don't feel like doing both. I'm kind of like in an exhausted state these days. But anyways, I folded up that nice blanket and it's all done and ready to go. So if I don't do it today, I will definitely do it tomorrow. I have all the ingredients out though ready. All right, guys.